Now, whoever will win the senatorial seat in Makweni will take their place here at the Kenyatta International Conference Center among their peers in the Senate. Now, different parties are preparing in different ways for this race. Let's now take a look at just some of them. The Wiper Democratic Movement, the incumbent party as it were, will be seeking to reclaim the seat left vacant by their former Secretary General, the late Makueni Senator Mutula Kilonzo. It had been touted that members of Mutula's family could be interested in the seat, but after several consultative meetings, the family informed the party that they would not. Wiper is therefore at this stage consulting with the community and have come up with a mode of operation on the same. We have chosen uh, as, as a party to interview candidates and make a selection. Thereafter, we will issue a certificate. So far, four candidates have expressed interest in the position. Sources told Citizen Television that a former NAT official, Benson Kithuku, was interviewed Tuesday for the seat. Another candidate is Wilfred Ndolo, a former provincial administrator who is currently a civil servant and has served in the then Ministry of Nairobi Metropolitan, who by law may be locked out of the race as he had not quit the civil service in time. Alex, how are you? Talk has been rife about the vacancy in Makweni County being a gateway for former Vice President Kalonzo Musyoka to make a comeback into active politics. As far as the party is concerned, we have not received any application from the, vice, the former vice president to be a candidate for Makueni. However, the former vice president is still said to be mulling over the issue and has up to now not given a clear indication on the direction he will take. <laughs> United Republican Party is also said to be making preparations to field a candidate for the by-elections. With the attention now turned on former Kibwezi Member of Parliament, Philip Kaloki. However, sources told Citizen TV that there seems to be an alternative push and pull with former NAC leader Charity Ngilu said to be pushing for Gideon Ndambuki, who is apparently set to get a direct nomination. Harun Mwao of PIC is also said to be in the race once again. The independent candidates had until today to submit their names to IEBC. Nominations by political parties will take place on the 26th and 27th of June, with nomination papers expected to be delivered to the county returning officer by 8 p.m. Disputes arising from the decisions of the returning officer after lodging nomination papers shall be resolved within seven days of lodging the dispute with the commission. Campaigns will commence on the 1st July until the 21st of July 2013, a day before the election date. Willis Raburu, Citizen Live at 9.